Okay, so, hello guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, sorry the camera angle's weird, I need to sort of move this a bit, but yeah, as you can see, um, this is Xbox Fortnite. Uh, like, I'll sort of show you quickly here, like, um, with a mouse and keyboard. Mouse and keyboard is now out for Xbox. Um, like, it's fully functional, so I can, I can click on the skin and you can do all this stuff. Um, yeah, so today I'm going to be showing you how you can do this. Um, as it's pretty tricky, some people it will work with the keyboard and not the mouse. Uh, the mouse will say uh, blocked input, but... Um, this is how you actually do it, so you're going to want to have this app called the Xbox Insider Hub, it looks like this, and if we back out here quickly and we go to Insider Content, on the far right there is a tab, uh, well it just loads in show you that here it is Xbox one update preview now this lets you use updates that are releasing like announcements here it's, you know quests things like that um, early and this lets you enable mouse and keyboard for two games I know warframe and fortnite they're the only ones at the moment that I know of there's there's like 10 but I can't remember all of them so I'll quickly show you quickly so uh, yeah this is my my account and we're in so the mouse isn't working the loading screen just yet uh, oh, sometimes we'll just pop in there we go look you can see like across the screen um, it even has my keybinds from the PC version already look put in so we can go over here so I'm pretty high ping for some reason don't know why but let me put this so we're just gonna jump straight away um not very good at the PC version of Fortnite, but yeah, uh, as I was saying with the update, the update will it will install and then will your Xbox will turn off midway. It will say like um, on when you're updating, it, Xbox needs a restart, and so um, it will then restart. Um, with that, and it will come back at whatever percentage it was doing the final. Uh, should be like adding or something to do with the update, but yeah, pretty much. Um, this is a very simple way to do it, it's not laggy at all. Probably tell. So yeah, um, we're just gonna get a bit of sort of proof, and I'll show you as well. So this is it here. My Xbox controller is plugged in right there, and if you see on the screen, you can see my keys. When I do this, it will swap to controller. And I'll also press the home button on the keyboard. As you can see there, it pops up. So yeah, we're just gonna move around with this and the mouse. Reload, all fully works. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
See you in the next one. Bye.